Kenya is a beautiful country, and Kisi is one of the most beautiful parts of Kenya. It gets a lot of rain there, so it's very lush. One of the miracles that we experienced in this evangelistic healing crusade was every night that I preached, there was clouds all around us. You could see the rain, and yet the rain never came where I was preaching. Jesus did supernatural signs and wonders there to bring people into a salvation experience with Himself. I'm going to take you inside the crusade now. You're going to see Jesus open somebody's ears that had been deaf. As a result of that, as the crowd witnessed it, it brought hundreds of people into a first-time salvation experience with the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you, beloved ones. Let's go inside the crusade now. I'm just going to release right now the anointing of the Holy Spirit to do exactly what he wants to do during this time of ministry. I want everybody that's deaf in one or both ears to come around back here, please. In Jesus' name, I command deaf ears to open. I command you deaf ear to open. I command you deaf ear to open. In Jesus' name, I command these deaf ears to open. I command to deaf ears to open. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for opening deaf ears tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you are king. She has experienced the a difference. She, she experienced a difference. It's a difference. When she came, okay. it was blocked. But now okay. she Lord Jesus, even as you, when you walked on the earth in the flesh, and you healed the blind man, but it came in two stages, and how at first he could see more clearly, but couldn't see well, I ask you right now, Lord Jesus, to finish the job on this servant in your name. Thank you for your love, Jesus. Deaf ears, be now opened. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. She can hear. She can hear? Let's give God praise tonight. I also want to pray tonight specifically for anybody that is having problems with their bones. If you're having problems with your bones, come around back over here, please. Jesus is going to heal you tonight. I want to ask you all to raise your hands to God. Through His blood, and by His blood, His healing anointing is coming on you and into you and healing you. The Spirit of the Lord is going to be moving through the sound of the shofar. She could not write, yeah. but now you can. So wow, she, look she, at that. So, uh, she's been healed. Her, her hand and her leg was kept aching, and she's been really good pain, but now she's right. Could, could she not she's lift her hand like that before? Yeah. Pra praise the Lord. Give the Lord a shout tonight. Good to see you, my sister. Amen. So tell me, what did God do for you last night? I want to say, I'm going to she has been sick for five years uh, on her foot. On her foot. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I want to give one last opportunity. If you have not received the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, if you have not invited Jesus to come and live inside you and to forgive you for your sins, 
If you have not turned your life over to him to follow him. Unreservedly and without compromise. I'm giving you that chance right now. And this could be your last chance. And for many, it will be. Lord Jesus, I ask you now. To please forgive me. I receive you into my life. Come and live inside me. Teach me how to follow you. Train Train me in obedience. I give my life to you now. Now if you just prayed that prayer for the first time, would you raise your hand? Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus told me to tell you that you have just received the gift of eternal life. That when you die, you're not going to hell. You're going to heaven. In addition to preaching the gospel to the multitudes on the mission field, I take it very seriously and it's a focus of mine to try to bless and be a blessing to the pastors that are there. They're the ones that remain on the ground. They're the ones that are going to be used to the Lord to continue to build His kingdom in these remote places around the world where we're going to. So I always strategically plan on being able to get together with the pastors at some point, blessing them and teaching them and training them. The Lord lift you up with His countenance. And the Lord give you His peace. This man was a thief and they, and they burned his hand because he was a thief. Not only the hand, the whole body. But his whole body, they burned him because... Who you? Wow. Wow. And they, and they burned him because he was a thief. Is that right, Bishop? Yes. yes. And tell us, tell, describe what happened to you tonight. She has been feeling pains, even all of his body. But today again he says he has given his life to the Lord. Praise God. And and, and is this pain gone? Is my mutual achieve? Yeah, the pain is gone. All right, let's lift our hands to the Lord. I I love you, my brother. But not one ticket, not one ticket. And you're beautiful to God. And all your sins are forgiven. And God has a brand new life for you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, my Amen. brother. It was amazing to me in Africa and before that Haiti, how people from around the world, the nations as the scripture called them, recognized that I was Jewish. They took a hold of me. They recognized there was a supernatural blessing upon me just for being a Jew.
and they asked me to bless them. And they were able to supernaturally receive from God because they came with an attitude of expectancy. Beloved ones, we read in the book of Acts that when Peter was passing the lame person, Peter looked at him and the lame person looked at Peter and Peter said, we could tell when he looked at us that he expected to receive. And when Peter saw that there was faith to receive, Peter said, get up and walk. Jesus of Nazareth heals you. I'm seeing the same thing, beloved ones, in places like Africa and Haiti. When they find out that I'm Jewish, they expect to receive something. They know that there's a supernatural blessing from God upon the Jewish people. Again, Paul said in Romans 11 that in the last days, that when Jewish people come to faith, these Jewish believers in Jesus are going to bless the Gentiles. And what Gentiles will experience is an anointing that comes upon them that's similar to life from the dead.